Let's see how risk neutral pricing works uh, in the Black Shores Merton model. Uh, we already know how to get the Black Shores formula, but not with risk neutral pricing. We saw how to get it with partial differential equations, which is how Black and Shores did it. But this is a more modern way to do it. Remember risk neutral pricing, just, just to remind you, uh, in the, in the general formula in any model, <coughs> if you can replicate the claim, the price is going to be expectation under probability Q, risk neutral probability Q of the discounted payoff to, of the claim. Okay, so I'll just write discounted, ah, I'm not going to write that. I'm going to put it like this, e to the minus rt, let's say g of s of t, some function g of s of t for European path independent options. Okay, something like that. This is what we want to compute in the black scholes merton model, but we don't know yet what q is. So q is a probability such that under q, the uh, discounted stock price is a martingale. So that statement we can find down here. Right? That, that Q is defined so that the discounted stock prices, or actually more precisely, what is important that discount that the discounted wealth process is a martingale. But without evidence, it's going to be the same thing whether it's discounted stock or discounted wealth, which is a martingale. All right, let's try to find such probability in the Black Shores Merton model and see whether there is only one or more or any. Uh, so if we find such probability, there will be some run in motion under that probability and we are going to denote it by W superscript Q. Okay, if we change the probability, then the old Brownian motion W does not have to be the same, uh, does not have to be the Brownian motion again. Uh, so we, we, it may be a different Brownian motion that we are looking at, and we are going to call it WQ. The claim is, if such a probability exists, then this is what the stock price should look like the dynamics of the stock price should be the same as the dynamics in the under the actual probability P in the black shores merton model, except I'm replacing mu, the actual return rate of the stock, by R, which is the return rate of the bank account. And since this is under Q, I'm writing here W superscript Q instead of W. So I claim this is what I want. In other words, I claim that the risk neutral, under the risk neutral probability in the Black Scholes Merton model, the stock on average returns the same as the bank account. So this is not real, this is not what we think really happens, but we are making it under the risk neutral probability, we are making the stock behaving on average in terms of the return rate as the bank account. Why would this work? By the, by the way, if this works, then, then it's going to be relatively easy to compute, at least for some options, this expectation, because we will know how S looks like under Q. Uh, we will replace mu by R, and then we will just, then just a question of integration really of, of probability theory and computing expected values of a normal distribution really because we a function of a normal distribution anyway we'll see how that goes in, in for the call option let's first check that this really is what we need to make the discounted stock a martingale well instead of computing conditional expectations to check whether something is a martingale, there is an easier way which is to check that if I compute the dynamics of the discounted stock under Q, so using this, I'm going to show that it's going to be 0 times dt plus something dwq. 
And we already used the fact that if you have zero drift term, if it's a zero DT term, then such a process is a martingale. Why? Because if you have you know dy equal to let's say sigma uh, y uh, dw for some sigma, then y is equal to y of zero. If I integrate y at t is equal to y of zero plus integral zero to t of uh, in this case, sigma y of s dws. And this is a constant, y of 0 is a constant. Uh, and then I have a constant plus stochastic integral, but we know that stochastic integrals are martingales. So martingale plus a constant is a martingale. So martingale plus a martingale is a martingale. All right? So if I don't have a dt term, if it's 0, such a process is a martingale. Well, it, it needs some technical assumptions on sigma if sigma is not constant, but uh, especially in sigma is constant, that's fine. It's going to be it's going to be a martingale. So that's how I'm going to check that under Q, if I put R here, the discount stock is a martingale. Basically, discounting will kill will cancel this R here. Let's just make sure that's correct by applying Ito's rule on this product. Now this is going to be an easy application of Ito's rule. It's just uh, the same rule as a derivative of a product. is the first function e to the minus rt times differential of the second ds of t plus the second s of t times the differential of the first e to the minus rt. There is no extra term. Ito's term, uh, second order term, is not there because e to the minus rt doesn't have Brownian motion in it. It's not, uh, it's not random, so there is no extra term if you look back at the product rule uh, using Ito's formula. All right, now I just replace what the s is, this thing here. All right, that's here. I just replaced, substituted for the s. And I compute the differential of e to the minus rt. Well, that's differentiating exponential function. Minus r goes down. Uh, <coughs> and uh, differential exponential is itself. So e to the minus rt and dt. Okay? So d of e to the minus rt is just r e to the minus rt dt multiplied by s. And there was a minus sign because minus r came down. And now I see that this minus s r e to the minus r t cancels with this plus s r e to the minus r t. So this and this cancel. Let me just indicate that. So this term cancels with this term. So I do get 0 dt plus uh, here instead of writing the exponential, I put s bar for discounted s. So indeed, Indeed, discounted uh, stock price, which satisfies this under some probability Q, this meaning it has the return rate R under that probability, such discounted stock, uh, such stock when discounted is a martingale. And that's what I want. So the question is, does there exist a probability Q for which this is true, for which I can replace mu by r. Okay, this is what I want, and the question is, is, is does there exist such a probability? And the answer is yes, and in fact it's unique. Okay, so and that that result has a name. It's a famous in option pricing and in stochastic processes famous theorem which is called Girsanov theorem. All right. It says exactly that, that you can replace their mu by r. Well, actually, s says uh, something a little bit more. Girsanov theorem says that if I define, look at the middle line here, if I define wq of t, 
as w of t plus some constant times t and here I'm going to choose the constant to be mu minus r over sigma if I define wq like this then the Gersano theorem says there exists a probability q under which this process is a Brownian motion so for, a, for any, in fact for any constant times t if I add a Brownian motion then there exists a probability such that uh, uh, this new Brownian motion which is the sum of the two terms uh, that the, the new process which is the sum of the two terms is a Brownian motion under that probability such probability exists that's exactly what Gersano theorem says and in fact it's it's uh, this is the only one which does uh, the job why well if you if you substitute wq like this, first of all let's compute dwq here. Okay, let me get the ballpoint pen here. So if you just do dwq, I'm not going to write t's, that's equal to dw plus mu minus r over sigma dt. Right? So if I go back and replace dwq in, in my desired model by dw pl plus mu minus r over sigma dt let's do that if I go back here then this there will be sigma dw which is fine and I, then I will have mu minus r over sigma sigma and sigma will cancel minus r and minus r will cancel and I will get mu instead of r okay with dw so, so it's exactly the black scholes method model so and that's the only choice if you make this ds over s equal to uh, so what what i'm just doing here is the following uh, this has to be equal to mu dt plus sigma d w of t okay and if you do the algebra then wq of that type or from the next slide is the only one for which this is true. Okay, so I have to have this, which means I have to have I have to have this expression for WQ. Okay, and then Gersano theorem says, okay, well there exists probability Q such that under that probability this sum here is a Brownian motion, and we call it WQ. Gersano was a Russian mathematician, uh, did this theorem in the 60s and actually died uh, young in a ski accident, in an avalanche. But he left us this, uh, this um, uh, very useful theorem, particularly useful in, in option pricing. We don't, I'm not going to show you the proof of the Gersano theorem, we don't really need to know the proof. Uh, it, the statement is easy. Right? It, it just says add to Brownian motion some uh, uh, constant times time there exists a probability under which that's a Brownian motion. And even easier actually almost the only thing I really need is I can do this. Okay, This middle line here I can replace mu by r and replace w by some wq there exists a probability under which this is valid that's pretty much the only thing i need okay black and Scholes did not use this and probably didn't know about this uh, so this is going to be a different way to to um, to get the black Scholes formula all right, just, just in terms of cleaning things up to make sure everything is okay, let's also check that indeed a discounted wealth process is, is a Martingale under Q. Uh, well, if you go back in your slides, you will see that dx is rx plus um, mu minus r pi, all of this dt plus sigma pi dw okay so if i replace dw by dwq 
from up here, and I can get dw from dw in terms of dwq. If I do that, and you do the algebra, you'll get something. Well, first, without replacing it, you'll get this when you discount. So this is the same as with the stock. What happens with discounting, it will, you will get everything multiplied by the discount factor, and you will get a minus Rx term, which, is, which will kill this Rx, Rx term. The same thing that happened in the previous slide with the stock. So Rx will disappear, and we will get this. And then if I replace dw by dwq, you, you can see, you can verify yourself easily that the dt term disappears, and I have a martingale. There is only a dw term. The drift disappeared, and therefore this is also a martingale under q, under probability q. Fine. So actually, by, by those meta theorems that we mentioned, and we, we, it turns out that the black scholes merton model has no arbitrage because there exists a martingale probability, and also it is complete. Uh, we can, in fact, replicate any claim in the black scholes merton model by trading in the stock and the bank account. <coughs> All right, so, so now we know how the stock looks like under the risk-neutral pricing probability. Now we can price options. <laughs>